So welcome to my tutorial on JavaScript and in my last tutorial we have covered how to uh, pass on the string and the numerical value into a variable and display it in a, in a line. Uh, in this tutorial we will be covering how to display both the string and the variable jointly in a single line or B. Then I will use a plus sign and then I will give a quotes and type in a string that is abhilash has got we give a space in the beginning also and in the end and then type a plus sign again and instead of marks I, and instead of for the numerical value I will just type marks so this should give the result as Abhilash has got 88 and again I will type a string marks. So this should display the text as instead of Abhi, Abhilash has got plus marks that is 88 and then marks. So Abhilash has got 88 marks. Now this is how you join a variable plus a string in javascript that is we use the plus sign so let me save and show you so here you can see that it is displaying the text correctly now let's say we want to display a text which has a quotes in between. For example, let's say instead of this Delhi is the capital of India and say I just want a quotes here for capital in the output that is in the page I want to display as New Delhi is the capital with quotes then let me tell you that this will not display correctly as New Delhi is the capital of India because the quotes start here and the quotes automatically end here so this part of the code is skipped by JavaScript altogether. So this happens in a, every kind of a programming language or a scripting language in uh, use including PHP and others. So what we do is we use a escape character. I will show that afterwards first let's, let's run the code. Now you can see that it's showing a totally blank page. So something is wrong here. So what's wrong here is the quotes. So instead of so you have to tell JavaScript that the quotes are beginning here and the quotes are ending here. So uh, it needs to be told that please escape this quote and this quote. And to do this, you what you do is you use a blank backslash in front of the quotes. So now you can see that the quotes are beginning here and ending here. So let's save it and let me show you in the browser. So now you can see there is a quote here and here and it's displaying as we have expected it to display. I guess you have learnt about how to add the string and a variable plus how to display quotes in a string in JavaScript in this tutorial. Thanks for watching and let's cover one more kind of a variable in our next tutorial or let's cover two uh, kind of variables that is a boolean and a, a null variable. Thanks for watching my tutorial and do subscribe.